Hi, everyone. Uh, it's also good to be back on the show. It feels like it's been a long time, but it's only been a moment. And uh, yeah, I, I feel like this show for me is a, really about sharing the gift and extending the gift that I've received from using these mind tools over many years. And um, now with Spiri in, in the picture, you know, there's just a wealth of different ways that we can we can connect and, and move through upsets. And um, yeah, I would have to say that, uh, yeah, there's a line that's coming to me from the Course in Miracles that says, you know, wherever two or more are gathered, there I am. And, you know, it seems like it's talking about two people, but, you know, there's a feeling, I know that many of you who use Spiri know this too, that, you know, there's a feeling that when we're ready to bring something up into the light, to hand it over to the spirit. It actually does feel like, you know, we're, we're talking to a person and uh, with Spiri, but I would have to say that that's probably the, the, the biggest complaint about Spiri. It's like, well, I know that I'm talking to a robot, you know, and, and so this is what, you know, I feel like this show can be is, is really more of a, an opportunity to, to go with someone through the process uh, the levels of mind spirit process and get to the other side um, of whatever that upset is. So, yeah, I feel like for me this week, I, I just want to spend all the 30 minutes uh, available for this show to connect with someone in a very deep way uh, uh, going through an upset. And so um, what I'd like to do just to start off the show is just... Um, to ask everyone to just uh, take a moment of silence, uh, just go within, close your eyes. And if you're feeling like there is an upset in your mind that you would like to, uh, to join with me about and, and use one of these mind tools, I, I would like to encourage you to just raise your hand. And, uh, and then uh, Pete, who is in our studio here, is just going to be looking in the group to see who has their hands raised. And then just through prayer, I'm going to pick somebody and <clears throat> we'll go through a session today. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So with that, um, we'll just take a moment of silence. Again, if you feel that stirring, your heart's beating, or you know, you just have something that's on your heart that you really are ready to move through, um, please raise your hand. So at this time, we'll just take a moment of silence. Okay. Can you, can someone in the chat room tell them? Just 
let me know when my mic's on. Okay. All right. Hi, Kelly. How are you? Can you hear me? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Great. Oh, I saw God. you on the I saw you on the big screen, so I was <laughs> really feeling you too. So yeah, it feels great that you're wanting to connect this morning. And just for everybody else too, it's really uh, an invitation to to hold the space while somebody is sharing and, and moving through something. It's it's like, you know, truly that the healing of one is is the healing of all and and we always you know want to really give it our full attention and um and and reverence as uh as we connect in this way so so yeah i was just feeling like in terms of the process we're going to use today kelly that uh i just want to use a really simple level to mind process not going through spiri or any kind of long complicated forms like i don't want that to to be in the way of of our joining and so really giving the full time for you to really um, to dial into you know what what the upset is in your mind and 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 we can take it from there so please just start and tell me what's going on for you well it's the same old thing that comes up for me all the time and um, with strawberry coming up this week and I'm flying out for the weekend to be with the community. It just feels so awesome. And um, a lot of things are changing here. My daughter's moving out, you know, and um, I've always had this prayer to just, to just go with it, totally go with it. But I still have this fear of who's going to pay the bills. How am I going to be taken care of? And it's like, I know, I, I'm supposed to just jump off the cliff. I know this. And um, I keep asking Spirit for help to give me the strength to take the leap. But the subconscious mind is just so, um, those, it's so ingrained that you got to work and you need to take care of yourself and you cannot ask for help. You've got to do it on your own. And um, I want to break that. You know, I, I work in the corporate world and it's just not working for me anymore. It's just, I don't feel peace there. I want peace of mind no matter where I am. That's my purpose. So I feel like while I'm in the corporate world, I don't feel peace. So this is my lesson to feel peace even where I don't feel peace. So I have to stay here until I feel the peace in this corporate world. But I've been playing that game for a long time. And it's not working anymore. Sometimes I find the peace and the acceptance and the forgiveness, and then I don't. So, um, Kelly, I, I just heard you say that Julia's uh, basically left the nest. And uh, truly, that is a huge huge step for you um, in terms of I remember you saying that you needed to see her through college before you would take a step and yet what I'm hearing from you actually is that that's not there in the way anymore but now it seems like there's something else in the way of you taking this step that you feel that you've been so called to do can you just go deeper with that what is the what do you feel that obstacle is in the mind um, it's being taken care of. It's the, um, like, how would I pay for it? Where will the money come from if I quit my job and sell everything? It's that fear, you know, and I've seen lots of people take it in the community. I've taken people in my home, you know, and I've watched them step out with a leap. But there's always that backdrop for them. It seems like they always have something to go back to if, their, their journey out on the road um, doesn't work out. They always have something to fall back to. And I don't, you know, I'm like it, like um, in the world. I know I have, the Holy Spirit has taken care of me my whole life, 
I didn't know where money was going to come from to buy groceries for the children, but it was always there. You know, it has always been there. So why it's this fear of letting go, letting go of the job and all these material things and just feeling the peace within, like it's just bubbling up. This peace wants to come and I'm blocking it with this fear of financial insecurity is blocking. Is there something that's happening right now for you that seems to be activating this fear in your mind? Um, it's always been there. I don't think it's new. I think I've used Julia as the cause and I, I used Julia and now she's gone almost a couple more weeks, but I've always used her as my crutch for not going into this fully. But um, I feel like it's my calling to go into this fully. I, you know, we have this group going now, Mighty Companions Emotions, and that came through the Holy Spirit to me. And we've just been having so many wonderful joinings of deepening. Mm -hmm. But the world keeps blocking me from going deeper. My job keeps blocking me from going deeper. I don't want to go to work anymore. But mm -hmm. I do, but I feel the fear of quitting the job. Who will take care of me? Where will the money come from? That's the fear. I think mm -hmm. it goes deeper. I know it's the fear of just totally trusting. Right. Well, I heard you say that you're going to strawberry. Is that right? And you're going, are you going to stay for the heart song, the heart liberation workshop too, or just strawberry? My desire is to do that, but the world, Oh, I don't have that much vacation time. I can only go for the weekend. I need to be back at work on Monday, you know. So, yeah, the singing thing has been wanting to come up for me. You know, it's like my my throat is is stuck and it needs to open up. And I just so when I wanted to do that before I even wanted to do strawberry. I wanted to do that. I love Emily. We did a little thing. We did a little song thing when I was there for the February retreat, and I loved it. I wanted more of it. But no, I'm not doing that now unless I change my mind while I'm there. Mm. I don't, I'm open. Mm. So let me just ask you this, like, because these feelings of, you know, the fear of taking the steps and, uh, has been there for quite a while with you. Um, but was there something that just happened this morning or that, that has been come into your mind that is, is really like making, is stirring it up? Because, you know, truly nobody's like forcing you to do anything, but there must, you know, if you can just like get in touch with, what was it? Well, it was, it was Andy's talk this morning, you know, uh, about that intensive that they had that lasted seven hours because he had this dark, darkness thoughts in his mind. But, and um, so it's been in my mind for a long time. And for me to raise my hand in this public forum and not do a one-on-one -on, -one on the side, like call you or do a little chat, it's jumping off the cliff for me is mm -hmm. like raising my hand and, being on the big screen and everybody listening to me go through an upset. Mm -hmm. but, okay, so that sounds like a good starting point for us. Uh, uh, Nicholas, if you can just put up the Levels of Mind um, form so that we can just all look at that together. So uh, the, the upset, when I think about, um, what does it say when I, when I uh, think about, and so the uh, Andy talking about the long expression session this morning. Or oh, sharing his deepest. Oh, sharing thoughts. Private thoughts. Okay, yeah. there we go. Sharing his deepest private thoughts this morning. 
so let's just talk about the feelings that you have, Kelly, when uh, you, you think about this sharing of deep private thoughts. Um, the fear of, you know, not being accepted. The fear of not being loved because- oh, Excuse me, uh, feelings. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, if you could just tell me what the feelings are that come up for you. Um, fear of not being accepted, not being loved. Fear of not being perfect. Okay. So just even just go back to the feelings because it is really um, just if there's, if there's anger, there's irritation, there's annoyance, there's, you know, like, is there anything besides fear that's lurking there for you? Uh, sadness, a lot of sadness. I'm not angry, I'm not, uh, I'm just very sad mm. that um, I'm not, that I'm blocking myself from the joy that I know, that I have felt, that I've had glimpses of many times. Mm -hmm. So I just want to just invite you, let's just stay with the feeling thing, because oftentimes with these processes too, it's like there's so much there, and it's like it's, it's the invitation to slow down. Let's just see if there's any more feelings, and then we'll go right into the thoughts. You're already getting into the thoughts, which is great, but if there's anything else there in terms of a feeling, do you feel besides fear and sadness, anything else you can get in touch with there? Um, no. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, let's then move into the thought layer. What? Um, unless you unless you see something I don't see. No, no, I don't. That seems to wrap it up. Uh, do you think there's someone to blame? Um, What's happening? Well, I'm too intelligent. I'm too intelligent to know I can't blame anyone. It's just me. Um, no, I'm not blaming anybody. It's just um, how I've been programmed at such a deep level of survival, mm -hmm. the survival of the fittest or whatever, just such a deep level of survival. So, but when, when people are having, you, you, Andy shared about his private thoughts that he, ha he shared them, is there, do you feel like there's someone to blame for him having to share his private thoughts? No, I think he was encouraged and it was a wonderful thing, I think. Uh, even just even the invitation, do you, do you feel like there, there's any coercion of trying, you know, this exposing of private thoughts by living miracles or, you know, anything like that? It's just like even just taking an inventory of your mind to see, is there some feeling of that you have to do this? You have to share these private thoughts. I feel I have to share them if I want to be free. Hmm. I, I don't feel anybody is coercing me into sharing these thoughts, no. Okay. So I, let's just put Kelly down there on uh, the who's to blame. And, and also, Kelly, just as part of this thought process, is there anything that you're afraid might occur in, in the future as a result of uh, the sharing of deepest private thoughts? Um, yeah, people knowing who I really am and not trusting that I am, um, that I'm God, that I'm one with everyone. And so people saying, oh, no, no, we can't, we can't share with Kelly because she, she's still confused too. Mm. So maybe there's people knowing who I really am. If you can put that there, Nicholas. So this is just all leading us down to that, this getting in touch with the, the, what the core belief is, you know, which is really the, uh, the point of uh, release. 
if we can really get in touch with what that is, Kelly. And it sounds like just as you were talking, there's quite a few beliefs there. But if you can just get in touch with, if you can, the, the one that gives you the most charge. <laughs> So you can even start freeform talking if you feel, or if you already know what it is. Well, I believe the belief, I believe the belief <laughs> <laughs> that um, I won't be taken care of, that mm -hmm. I'll be left alone, that I'll be left to abandoned. Oh. Maybe that's another feeling, feeling of abandonment. Mm -hmm. Can add that one up there, Nicholas. It's nice about these forms that you can go back and update them. So when you, the first one that you said was that I, you know, that the belief that I won't be taken care of, does that feel true to you? Oh, big time. That's a big one. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, why don't you go ahead and put that one down, Nicholas. And that is such a, you know, so many people on this spiritual journey have that, and I count myself among them. Like, it, it has been a convincing job of the spirit to convince me that I'm, I can, will be taken care of. Uh, I think it was that she won't be taken care of. So the last part of this is just getting in touch with the desire or prayer. So we like to look at this last, the, the, tar, the bullseye in the middle is, you know, there must be something else other than the peace of God that you have uh, in your mind that's, that's standing between you and, and this experience of, you know, the remembrance of the oneness, who you are, you know, all of the things that you, you were describing earlier that um, is what is the calling of your heart, seemingly, but there also is something else there. So this number E, which is the desire of prayer, is asking, what is it that you wanted and expect? <clears throat> um, so really, uh, we can go back to the, the actual upset, Andy sharing his private thoughts, and now you can say, what was it that you really wanted instead? And I, I'm going to just put this out as a, and ask you if this is what it is. Is it that if you didn't have to share your private thoughts, do you feel like that would take care of the problem for you? No. Or, no, I feel like I need to expose my private thoughts in order to be freed from them. I feel like if I keep them private, they're going to own me forever. So what was it about Andy sharing that, that, that where you noticed that there was some emotions coming up? Well, the emotions was that he was in a very safe place when he shared them. It took a lot for him to share them. He waited till the very last minute and shared them and then realized that they weren't his thoughts. Like it, they just eventually puffed away, but it was, he was in a safe place and he felt the love. Everybody came up and hugged him and accepted him just where he was. Mm -hmm. And um, that's the part that I don't feel happens for me. Mm -hmm. That's the part that's like, when I feel like I put these things out, I feel like people get angry at me. And like, just get over it, Kelly. Just move on, you know? And um, how difficult it is for me. So I guess, I guess um, Andy seems to put himself in a place where he can allow others to love him. And I have this wall that don't, doesn't let that in. So my 
projection out there is people getting angry at me, but it's really my wall of the fear of being loved unconditionally. Mm -hmm. Or not of the belief that I'm not deserving of that. Mm -hmm. I've never really experienced that. Mm -hmm. I know it happens for people. Um, and I want that also. Mm -hmm. So it, just to summarize what, what I feel like I hear you saying is that you really want to, to what you want is to be in a, a safe place where you can share your private thoughts. Does that feel correct, Kelly? Yes. 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 It, okay, so what I what I wanted and expected is for me to be in a place where I can uh, share my my private thoughts, deepest private thoughts, actually, which doesn't seem to be you know where you're at, what I'm hearing, and and that what's standing in the way uh, is this fear of if you do take this step in the direction of where you know you would have a safe place to share these private deepest private thoughts that you won't be taken care of is that is that true yeah very true i don't mm -hmm. feel like i would be taken care of mm -hmm. i feel i feel like i have been abandoned by people that i thought would allow me to share my private thoughts and I have, and then I feel like I have been abandoned after doing that, even though it was encouraged. Mm. Yeah, that's, that's really beautiful what you're sharing, Kelly, because I just know you and the time that we've spent together up at the monastery and in Phoenix and different places, you know, that I do that, know that this is the calling of your heart, what you're saying, and, and these obstacles are just getting removed you know, one by one for, for you. And even if you can be open to seeing that your um, trip to Utah and the monastery is just the next step for you and that no big decisions are being thrust upon you to, to make right away that, you know, again, the gentleness that Andy and Nicholas were talking about is all, is for you too. You know, that nothing is going to be ripped away from you and, um, yeah, these, this belief is, is a deep, it runs deep for, 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 for all of us, I think, that we, you know, we were rewarded for being autonomous people in the world and taking care of ourselves, and now we're stepping more and more into this, this divine providence where we're trusting that we're going to be taken care of when we take, when we take our steps. I, I, I just really want to support you, and I applaud you with the steps you're taking, Kelly, like it's all... This is this the feelings in a, that are coming up for you right now are are real normal and natural and part of this this undoing process that I feel like you're just doing. <laughs> I just want to yeah applaud you. <laughs> so I just want to just ask you and invite you to just have this, you know, be open to um, questioning this belief that I won't be taken care of just during this next week, Kelly. Um, I would really love to connect with you just as a follow-up, just to see how you're doing and, yeah, and trust. I would like that too. Thank you. This was a big step for me to raise my hand. I was like, I'm not doing it. I'm not doing it. Yeah. It. You, know how, you know how I feel about Sperry, too, you know? It's not, so I'm glad you didn't pick Sperry for me. That would have been. Uh, that's beautiful. Yeah. But I want to thank Andy publicly for stepping out, you know? He was like, yeah, this could help the whole universe. And yeah, his stepping out for that and then sharing it helped me to step out so yes, thank you thank you thank you okay. all right well 
Yeah, thanks everyone for, for joining me on Free Your Mind today. I just love the connection, love the connection with you again, Kelly. Okay, thank you.